Well, this is where we go. Click to choose your destination. Looks like the K train is down again. Eli, the K train was discontinued in 1988. Was it? I could swear I took it to the Museum of Natural History not too long ago. You did in 1986. <laughs> oh. So. I guess we won't be taking the K-Train. No, we will not. Okay, that's the PlayStation, this village. I want to let them talk it out first before I click. Manhattan, that's the place, 8.30pm. Hmm, mm. still raining. At least nothing's here waiting to kill us. Well, the night is young. Looks like this building site was abandoned not too long ago. Charming. <laughs> Somebody changed the RTLC, huh? Mm -hmm. Hello, Moon Sculpture Arcade, the cube. It's been here as long as you can remember. Street leads further eastward into an alphabet city. Oh. You seem troubled. Is something the matter? Hmm. The cop there. I am a wanted criminal. So there is. But you have nothing to fear from him. Not with the veil in place. Uh, did you? Do something to me? Don't worry, it's totally harmless. Well, mostly. It just disguises your identity. Anyone looking at you sees slightly different features. You are not the first new recruit to arrive with complications in the mundane world. The veil prevents awkwardness all around. Um. Nobody I know would recognize me? Nobody in the mundane world, no. The veil only works on mundanes. Supernatural beings and the void touch can see through it easily. But that law enforcement officer? He will pose no threat. Mm, let's go unless there's something else you forgot to tell me. No, there's nothing else. Let us continue, shall we? Yeah, poor many drinks for cops over the years. This one looks like he doesn't touch a drop. Evening, sir. Rough night to be out. Yeah, you could say that. Wouldn't be here if I had the choice, believe me. What happened here? Who wants to know? Uh, yes, making conversation. You look like you can use some. Yeah, no kidding. This job can really take it out of you sometimes. I'll tell you one thing. You see a lot of bad people in this line of work, but it takes a special kind of nasty to torch a homeless shelter. This was a homeless shelter? Yeah, a neighborhood full of corporate chains and they attacked this place. Was anyone hurt? A few people killed. A lot of people with second or third degree burns. That is horrible. I won't argue with that. I was here when the rescue team arrived. They were carted off to Beth Israel Hospital. The people here, they don't exactly have medical insurance. Are you sure it was arson? That's how we're treating it. Until we know otherwise, we're treating it like a crime scene. Which means, stay back. Okay, I better get going. I don't blame you. See ya. Hmm. That's a play subway station. The spinning has been reduced to seamless quite recently from the left of it. Hey, are you alright? You look a little. Taking me.
Hmm. Take me out of the cold. That's all you need to know. I'll do whatever you want. Just help me. Please. Follow me in here. Did you see that? I did. Neuromorphic projection. I've read the theories, but never thought. I think he's coming out of it. Are you all right? What just happened? You blacked out just for a minute, but... You had a vision. We saw it as well. A vision from your past. Well, your demon's past, technically. This area must have kick-started your brain into remembering. There was some psychic spillover. We could see it too. Spillover? Yeah. Psychic runoff. Try not to think about it too hard. This building the demon entered. It used to house the village eye. The newspaper? Didn't it go out of business a few years ago? Indeed it did. What was your demon self doing here? <laughs> Talking about newsletter for demons. Let's get in and find out. Agreed. We are wasting time. Right. Enough jabbering. Let's go. <sighs> well, that just figures, doesn't it? Hmm. Mrs. Sammy and Jonah flash through your mind. You would never look at the bar the same way. It is done. Worked. Be aware that if law enforcement questions me, I am compelled to tell the truth. Okay. <clears throat> it smells very human in here. Looks like people were squatting here. Half a dozen at least. Wasn't there a homeless shelter around the corner? Why live here? It could be pride. Or perhaps they gathered here for a specific purpose. I'm guessing it wasn't a slumber party. Hello, that phone. is You're fully exposed of the walls. Mm -hmm. If there were ever CPUs attached to these monitors, they are long gone now. CPUs attached to the monitor. Okay, fine. The sign on the door reads Jordan. Huh. Only one bed in here. Yes. This room was designated to separate one individual from the rest. Someone of importance, most likely. Or someone undesirable. So this room either belonged to a cult leader or a prisoner. Most likely. The graffiti inspires him to itself. Trying to follow it makes your eyes water. As for the equal heart for love. An old beat up Kevin, okay. Yes. A water stained mattress which has seen better days. Found nothing. This one drawer has seen a lot of Jews. Yeah. What have you got there? An old fuse? Seems to still be intact. Okay. This appears is dark and silent. I might not know a lot about those things, but don't they need electricity to work? I don't think the power's on in this place. I guess we need to go down in the basement. Okay. Do not what? be alarmed. That was just a lost spirit. What you would call a ghost. They are harmless. Right, so ghost is case. Let's Good. go on. You adjust quickly. Death is part of the mundane world. We do not get involved. Let us move forward. Are 
you hurt? No, I'm fine. I tripped over. I have no idea. Can't see a damn thing. That's weird. Come on! Is there a problem? The darkness. It's fighting the light. It always does. I'm being literal. Whatever's down here, it's interfering with my magic. There we go. Color me gobsmacked. It's a forest. A forest in a basement. Well, that explains why my fire's so weak down here. Probably a natural defense mechanism for whatever this is. Oh yeah, and remind you if you guys want to get uh, what is it, Watch Dogs 2 for free, and uh, don't forget to watch the Ubisoft uh, forward event that they're having in about. 16 minutes and link your accounts one if you want to that is you get watch dogs too this tree is down grows out of solid concrete uh, its surface is covered in a plug like it this blanket is covered with moss and lichen Well, this just got a lot more complicated. Whoever this was, their face has been eaten away by some kind of moss. Male. Early to mid-60s, I believe. The cause of death is difficult to determine. He's got vines growing out of him. What could do this? I cannot say. But I believe the answer lies with you. Your vision. You were familiar with this building. Whatever happened here, you were involved. Or at least your demon self was. You don't remember anything. No other visions spring to mind. I am sorry. I wish I could have been more help. Don't apologize. It's not your fault. No doubt your demon covered its tracks well before leaving your mind. So, who is he? He has no distinguishing marks. He carries no identification. Whoever this is, it remains a mystery. Is this body yours? It is a lost spirit. It cannot communicate. Are you sure about that? It does appear... agitated. Let us leave it be. It's fuzzy and indistinct. There's blankly ahead, we are noticing you are even here. Okay, uh, I think we need to go up and see something on the computer before we do anything more here. Let's go and do that. Do these drawings on the wall mean anything to you, Mandana? I cannot decipher their meaning, but I do get a sense of reverence. Reverence. Like worship? It is only a feeling. This wall drawing means nothing to me. Eli? Me neither. Although it's different from the art in the other room. How so? Outside it was more vibrant, colorful, more creative. It had passion. The art in here is just patterns. Patterns? You can see them if you know how to look for them. Interesting. I do not know what that means yet, but interesting. <laughs> well, who knows?
Okay, so it's either love or it's hot. Should it be then? I just want an equal. Um, not sure what you want. I fail to see how I can be of use there. I mean, I can't make that symbol, so how the heck? Uh, so we can't type like PV equals something, so it needs to be... I thought it would be love, though. Or heart. What else could it be then? Love it isn't. Or was it that what she said before? Uh, am I? Love it isn't, hard it isn't. Okay, we don't know it. Hmm. Scrolls and your fitting. There was nothing to get down here. To lift a manhole cover with your bare hands? You yeah. never know. Maybe the demon gave him super strength. <laughs> I guess not. Sorry. Um, can you use your weapon? Are you lifting with your knees? Yes. Bracing. Fortuitous that I have kept up my training. Yeah, you're going down. 
At least the rain is washing away most of the smell. If not the heat, I am positively sweltering. I admit that my knowledge of sanitation systems is lacking. But should this water be boiling? Uh, no. I don't think so. No. The virus attached to this pipe the metal is practically low in the heat. Be careful. The heat in this room is kind of off the scale. Yeah, we need to find something so we can use the whole machine. That machinery is scalding hot. He can. He doesn't mind the heat. Eli Beckett, mage, accountant, and plumber, and sometimes all three. Rusty panel containing an imposing solitary keyhole. I guess we need to find a key somewhere here. Huh? Just some ordinary pipes, they seem warmer than they should be. Okay. Okay, we need to go over there then. Park. Her eyes are closed and she is softly humming to herself. Champions fountain surrounded by your bars and junkies. Middle-aged man mumbling to himself and glaring at anyone who approaches. She glares at you from underneath her filthy hoodie. Hello. She's not the talkative type, it seems. Rough night to be out, huh? Do not feel obliged to answer. It was a ridiculous question. See anything weird around here? He asked you a question. Leave her be. If she chooses not to speak, we should honor that. I guess I see you around. Hi. She's lost in her own world. Maybe we should just leave her alone. What's that you're humming? Whatever it is, it's catchy. Get anything odd around here? I don't think she'd even notice if she did. Yeah. Hey, he doesn't even want to talk to us. Champions Fountains, run about bars and junkies. To be on. Rough or not, she doesn't seem to mind. Yeah, she doesn't want to say anything, and he doesn't want to talk to us. And she doesn't want to talk to us either. Hello. She's not the talkative type, it seems. Hmm.
Um, not sure what you want me to do there. <laughs> okay. Another fancy clothing shop, they seem to be popping up all over this area. There's a bar, can go to. Something in here that's. Eli, you are scratching the buttons of your coat again, with your fingernail. I am? Yes. You are not even aware of it, are you? Uh, why is this a big deal? It indicates a loss of control. It is minimal, but... Right. I know. I'll work on that. Thank you. There's something I'm missing here. There's nothing we can do here. I must have missed something in here. I checked this chest before now. Oh, you have. Okay, now I see. It's two separate parts. Uh, hmm, isn't that the. Okay. I don't think I know what we need to do. Now we go to the park. That looked like one of them. Show photo. This picture. It's of you, isn't it? Where? Where did you get that? You're trying to learn what happened at the village eye. The village eye? I know what you're talking about. That is an obvious lie. Do I look like I care? Just leave me alone. I might not look it, but I'm fine. Tell everyone that Wendy is fine. You don't need to come out here and... Wait, it's you, isn't it? You've come back. Who do you think I am? Don't patronize me. I know who you are. You're the master. What? Don't play dumb with me. I'm not that innocent. At least, not anymore. You've done something to your face. You've changed it somehow, but I can tell. It's you. Curious. She can see past the veil. She must be void-touched. What? Touched? Void-touched. It means... I don't give a crap what it means. And I don't give a crap about you either, master. Just leave me alone. I already know you're good at that. Linda, can you tell me what happened at the village I building? Why should I? You're in trouble and uh, tell me what happened if you're better because I'm your master commander. Uh, yeah, you seem really troubled. Tell me what help you feel better. Look, maybe you care and maybe you don't. But it doesn't matter. Not anymore. Not after the way you left us. So get out of here. Take your new followers and go. Wait, followers? You heard me. Um, hmm. I've lost my memory. I don't remember. Uh, we found a dead body in the basement of the village. I you can't prove a damn thing. I mean, whatever. <laughs> don't know a thing about it. Okay. 
I lost my memory. I don't remember anything about you or anyone else. You what? You're serious, aren't you? You didn't just leave us. You forgot about us. It's a bit more complicated than that, but yes. We are trying to piece together what happened. Can you help us? No, it's done. It's over. If you've forgotten about it, then maybe I can too. Just leave me alone. You said I uh, left you. What do you mean by that? What do I mean? You left. Left us to fend for ourselves, and it all went to shit. Me, I'm back where I started. The others weren't so lucky. Others? What others? You never cared, did you? All that time, I knew it. I just didn't want to believe it. The basement of the village I is half forest. That, that's crazy. You're crazy. Who is the guy in the picture with you? You really don't remember anything, do you? You've even forgotten Jordan, your precious protege. Well, he's gone. No thanks to you. Hmm, there's a ghost in the village. Oh, okay, tell me about him. He and I were a, a thing, kind of. I, I don't know. We're nothing anymore. He's gone. He left soon after you. He's probably dead. Not that you care. There's a ghost in the village, I believe. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Don't talk about it. Don't even think about it. Just don't. Hmm. He and I were a, a thing. He's gone. It's the same Nothing thing. That you care. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Please don't come back. So, just so we are clear, we are not calling you master. <laughs> what? So that password then. Wendy then? Yay! Entry 1. Master says I should start this journal explaining who I am and how I got here. My name is Jordan. Three months ago I was fired from a job at a crappy electronics store. Two weeks ago my landlord evicted me because I couldn't pay the rent. I was on the street. In the middle of this brutal winter, the homeless shelter was completely full. I thought I was going to freeze to death. Master found me. He brought me here. He gave me clothes and warm food and this laptop. He insists I keep a journal of my experiences here. He also says I should call him Master. That's fine. I don't care. I am safe here. I'm not leaving. Heck, if he keeps me alive, I'll call him God. Entry 2. The master brought a few more people in. They're all homeless like me. They're all sick. This old guy has lung cancer so bad he is coughing up blood. There's this girl named Wendy who looks to be in incredible pain. Me? I'm still cold. It's so hard for me to get warm, but at least I'm not dying. Entry 3. Master brought us downstairs. There's a tree growing up through the floor. A tree? Master said it is an altar of life, and he will protect us and heal us if we do the same. He will teach us how. All we have to do is let him cut us and we bleed on the altar. Entry 4. Oh my god, the energy. Oh man, it's incredible. I am warm, I am warm. So, so warm. It feels so good. Entry 5. I have never felt this good. The cold has completely left my body. The old guy's cough is gone. He's even breathing normally, and Wendy is walking around without any pain. Praise the master! Entry 6. There are seven of us now. Master has been cutting us every few weeks. It seems crazy, but we heal up right away and we are healthy. That's the important thing. Praise the master. I would be dead if it wasn't for him. We all would. Entry 7. Merry Christmas! The tree is growing. There's grass on the floor of the basement. It's concrete. The master, anything is possible. Entry. The master needs to leave for a while. 
And now I'm being put in charge. Me? In charge? I'm so honored. Maybe I should password to protect this laptop. See, I'm so important now. Into nine. It's nice having my pri pri privacy, but it's kind of lonely in here. I asked Wendy if she would stay the night with me. She said yes. Into ten. I cut the old guy. He bled like crazy. He didn't heal. I had to run out of bandages. Thank God he is okay. Entry 11. It's freezing in here. I turned radio up full blast. It does nothing. Entry 12. Wendy is limping. The old guy is coughing. He can't stop shivering. The ritual doesn't work anymore. Master, where are you? You've been gone for almost two months. Entry 13. He can barely feel the keys. Hands are numb. I can't help these people anymore. I can't help myself. Empty 14. I have to leave. I am sorry, master. I can't do it. Put it Wendy in charge. I'm sorry. Blood rituals used for healing. That is perverse and wrong. It may be wrong. But it does explain the forest downstairs, its unspent life energy. It created excess life. Beauty can hide all manner of evil, Eli. You know this more than anyone. This is a story here, Eli. Oh, it's uh, nothing. Just a little run-in with a golem and a succubus that got a... A story for another time? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Blood rituals, dark magic, bad stuff. Yes, Eli. Bad stuff. If I understand that journal right, the ritual stopped working when the, uh, <clears throat> master left. Which means that only you, or rather your demon, could perform it. Then why leave Jordan in charge? That's a good question. One more reason to track it down. In the meantime, I really want to know more about this ritual. Yep, let's get to it. After you? Hmm... There's nothing more in here now, right? Checking the door in, I guess, because... And there's nothing on that one. Can he burn it? Um, not sure. Not responding. Pretty normal for a ghost, anyway. Can you hear Ghosts me? Ghosts can't hear us, or see us, or anything to us, actually. Could I ask you a few questions? The lost spirit will not acknowledge your presence. Hmm. Come on. My magic is kind of weak down here. I couldn't incinerate the body even if I wanted to. You incinerate the... Okay. We can't communicate with him right now, then. What if we can... Hmm. I was hoping she could, like, cut... Either her, her own... Or cut him.
So it feels like we're pretty much done in here then. I am not using my blade on the body. She can't use it on that one. I cannot speak with lost spirits. If there's something more we can talk to her about them. Or if we need to do something else. Red Jordan's journal. Shit. I knew I should have tossed that computer. Well, the cat's out of the bag now. You proud of yourself, master? Whatever you think I did, it was no. Uh, was it all true? I mean, did you teach us all how to do those blood rituals? Yes. You took us all in. You saved us, I guess. Maybe. Every month you'd do the ritual. You'd cut one of us. We'd bleed on the altar. Then you'd say those words, and we'd heal. Better, stronger, faster than before. It was like a drug. Life energy. That's what you were being fed. That explains the wildlife in the basement. It must be residual life magic. Whatever it was, it felt good. Hmm. What happened next? It all ended, is what happened. Jordan was so happy when you put him in charge. He tried, he really did. But he just got too sick. Whatever you did to us, the healing, it stopped working when you left. So he put me in charge. Me. And I just made things worse. Uh, you need to tell me what happened now. I didn't mean for anything like this to happen. I just wanted to help everyone, not... I cut with a knife. I said those stupid words again and again and again didn't work so I had to try harder the murdered man in the basement you took the blood ritual too far it was an accident I swear hmm did it work no it didn't work Would I be out here in the rain if it did I put him on the altar I took the knife and I I killed him by accident I must have been nervous I thought that was the end of it, but then... His spirit, it came back. It was horrible. He couldn't stay. Every time it saw us, it would scream. Hmm. So he drove you out? Yes. And so I came here. I don't want to be around people anymore. You speak the truth. You believe me. Hooray. It is not a matter of belief. <laughs> I simply know what truth is. Thank you for sharing it with us. Well, there's no point in lying anymore, is there? The master here was just as much involved as me. And something tells me you aren't going to turn him in. Where's that knife now? You think I'm an idiot? I tossed it down a storm drain. What? Why did you do that? Why do you think? It's probably halfway to Jersey by now. And good riddance. You said you needed healing. Well, what's wrong with you? Cerebral palsy on my left side. It was bad before. I could barely handle sewer duty. It's much worse now. Hmm. Sewer duty? You seriously don't remember? The pipes in the building leaked. Overflow from the sewer. It was disgusting. You couldn't exactly call a plumber, so you made us go into the sewer and drain it from there. Even down there so much, Jordan had to swipe a key to the control panel. We're going to fix this, don't worry. No, oh, where's the key to the sewer control panel? Are you serious? You never wanted to bother with that before. But whatever. It's to the right of the control panel, behind one of the pipes. Hmm. 
You don't have to fix this, don't worry. Do me any favors. This mess is yours, master. Do whatever you like. Trying to. Goodbye, Wendy, and good luck. If I was lucky, I never would have met you in the first place. Damn. She threw the knife down a storm drain. Damn it. I can't blame her, but damn it. Magically imbued tools take weeks to make. I really hope to study it. Okay. Like Wendy was right. Yep. Maybe we should try something else. Uh, it's not so. Oh, I put in the wrong thing. There we go. Yes, I am your master. I knew you'd come back. I knew it. I couldn't leave them. I, I was too weak. I tried. I tried so hard, but it was just too much. What happened? Look at me! This is what happened. Do you remember, master, how you found me? Frozen half to death on the street? I almost died. You saved me. You healed me. Brought me back from certain death. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Sure. Lie. I remember. I, master. Your eyes. Your voice. You different. You really don't remember, do you? You were so kind. You showed me how to heal. We were going to heal the entire city. But I couldn't do it without you. When you left, the power left too. The chill, the cold, it came back. I couldn't stop it. It just got worse and worse. I couldn't heal myself, let alone anyone else, so I left. I had to find something. Anything that could help me get warm again. And what did you find? I'm so sorry, Master. You said that spell was dangerous. I didn't listen. But I was so desperate. I was freezing to death. The bed in that homeless shelter wasn't warm enough. You taught me a spell that would let warmth into my heart. So I spoke it. Then... This happened. They were inside the homeless shelter when you cast a spell? Yes. They were the only ones who would take me in. No, you misunderstand. The shelter, it burned to the ground. Was... was anyone hurt? Yes, children. People were hurt. I... I didn't mean for this to happen. Help me, Master. I know I don't deserve it, but please. Help me before I hurt anyone else. I have some questions first. Anything you want. The knife was tossed down here. Have you seen it? The knife? You mean your knife? Yes, I saw it fall down here. I took it. I hid it. Just in case you ever came back. Could you get it for us? I'd love to study it. I suppose after you help me. 
supposed to win, dude. I didn't want to leave them. Wendy, least of all. She leads them now. She's keeping them all safe. Hmm. Wendy killed someone on the altar. She, she what? Why would she do that? Standard escalation. More blood, more power. I want this to end. Please, just let it all end. Why can't you get the knife for us now? Oh. Master, this is all too much. I served you faithfully. Then you left when I needed you the most. How do I know you won't leave again? Cure me? Help me? Do that and I will get the knife for you gladly. Uh, Eli, can you do anything to help him? I've been trying, but the fire is different. It's self-generating, self-sustaining. Even submerging himself in water couldn't snuff him out. I've never seen anything like it. I need to know more about his condition before I can even attempt a cure. Uh, okay. Goodbye, Jordan. We'll be back. Thank you, Master! Okay. Hmm, so do we... Yeah, let's see if we can, uh, that means we need to go to that homeless shelter then. Poor guy. He played with powerful magic he had no business using. He hurt dozens of innocents. He was desperate. He made a human mistake. In that, we are in agreement. Get him some water. Evening, sir. Hmm. Do you know anything about the Billy Shy building? They went out of business, didn't they? Squatters were living in that building for a while, but I think they've cleared out. You let them stay there? The owner never filed a complaint, so legally we weren't required to investigate. Didn't stop us from keeping an eye on the place, though. There is nothing illegal going on at the Billy Shy? Nothing we could see from the outside, no. But to be honest, it wasn't exactly high on our priority list. Any chance I can take a look around back there? Um, no. In case it wasn't clear, this is a crime scene, which means stay back. Uh, you need to let me back there. Oh, really? Give me one reason. Barton, is it such a big deal? You don't seem like you really want to be here. Well, no, I don't. What makes you say that? You're obviously upset about something, and it is not just the rain. The rain isn't helping, that's for sure. You ever feel helpless? Powerless? Like there's too much shit going on, and you can't do a damn thing about it? All the time these days. Then you know what I'm talking about. I'm an officer of the law. I'm supposed to be out there doing something, not stuck behind a desk. Or here, doing guard duty? I know I could make a difference if I was just given a damn chance. Hmm. And do something. Let us take a look around. We can help. What? Just let you through? You're serious, aren't you? Yeah, you are. You really think you can help? Jesus, I must be crazy. I must be insane. But something... I don't know what. Something tells me I can trust you. Get inside, and quickly. I'll give a shout if someone comes by. Thank you. Just get the guy who did this. I begin to understand why you were hired as a barkeep. Yeah, you had him eaten out of the palm of your hand. You have an enviable gift for empathy. We will discuss this later. Let us find what we came for. Hey. Try the wall stand unsteadily against the night sky. Lone locker. Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes you attack them into ruins. Is something the matter? This thing is freezing. That is certainly interesting. How is this possible? This building was on fire not too long ago. I know. Bizarre contradiction, isn't it? That's magic for you. So you believe this is magic related? Are people still saying, duh, because, well, duh? Mm. I cannot say I am impressed with the mundane authorities. They should have noticed this when inspecting the site. Not necessarily. That officer said this place burnt down about a week ago. It wasn't raining then, which means that no ice should have formed. Hmm. Perhaps you are correct. And perhaps this was meant to be. If there is danger here, we should be the ones to face it. Flame on. Come on. Melt. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. It's just something inside is fighting back. There. Nicely done. That's me, Eli Beckett, enemy of ice. <laughs> Well, that's definitely our cold source, all right. Melt it. Mm. Now that it's out of the open air and the warm rain is coming down, I should be able to... Jesus! What is being for out? Look at that. Not a burn mark on him. The ice protected him from the fire? It also froze him to death, but if you want to get technical, sure. It protected him from the fire. I would cause something like this. Well, I might be going out on a limb here, but I'm gonna say magic. Indeed. This cold is not natural. Neither is the smell. Ugh. Hmm. This part look familiar to you? Uh, maybe. It's hard to tell, you know, with all the frostbite and things. I admit, he does look slightly recognizable, but as to whom, I cannot say. Holy crap, it's Jordan. Yes, I'm as surprised as you are. The quality of that photo isn't so great. It was kept freezing all the time. the same guy. The evidence is undeniable. Jordan sought a way to remove the cold invading his body. It appears he failed. So what do we see in the sewer? Another ghost? No, we would not have been able to converse with it if so. We spoke to Jordan. Not a lost spirit. At least, not one in the traditional sense. His soul transmuted, escaped his body, and became something else. He is alive, just no longer human. He's become a fire elemental, a spirit bound to a body of flame. Hmm, can we reverse it? No, no we can't. And even if we could, his human body is dead. There's nothing for him to go back to. Regardless. We cannot allow a fire elemental to run loose in the city sewers. Hmm. Eli, you are the fire expert in the fort. Thoughts? I have plenty of thoughts. None of them nice. Let me mull them over for a bit, okay? We should hear Jordan out before deciding anything, anyway. Okay. All right. Let's go. Whatever you found in there, don't tell me about it. Deniability and all that. Just find the guy who did this. Hey, officer. Master? You went to the shelter, Jordan. You did? What did you find? You froze to death. In the shelter. 
I what? I'm dead? No, uh, not exactly. You're a fire elemental now. You're alive, you're just in a new body. A body made of flame. That's why the flames are self-sustaining. You aren't on fire, you are fire. So there's no cure? Oh, um, no. Your human body is dead. There's no getting around that. But you're kind of immortal now. That's something, isn't it? You mean I have to live like this forever? Um, yeah. You should have left me in the cold, Master! You should have left me to die! Hmm. There's got to be something you can do here. Like. <sighs> yes, there is. I'm a fire mage. I can control and channel fire. Given enough time, I can remove the fire from your spirit. Eli, what you're proposing will be incredibly painful, I know. Painful? It will feel like being skinned alive. But it will kill me? Eventually. Then I'll do it. Hmm. Are you sure this is the only option? No. No, it is not. I will not allow you to do this. Not when there is another way. Another way? There are others of your kind. Fire elementals. A whole world of them. Yeah. In another dimension, across the void. How do you propose to get him there? Jordan is a creature of spirit now, which means he can traverse the void. I can lend him the energy required and show him how to open the way. So he can, what, spend eternity with fire people? Wait, eternity? It is a one-way trip, Jordan. Life there will not be easy, but perhaps you can find a home there, a life. But what kind of life would that be? One that continues. Mm. Sure. On an alien world. In an alien dimension. All alone. It's your decision, Jordan. There will be others of his... I... I can't! This is all too much! Master, I know you've done your best! Whatever you decide, I will do. And if they don't, they'll be stuck there forever. So the alternative is to murder him? It's mercy. If I was in his shoes, I'd want the same. But Don't you have to eat any human flesh, woman. You cannot make that choice for him. Eat what? No. His flames are the source of his energy, and will provide most of the fuel required. I will lend him the rest. The effect on me will be minimal. I will recover. And neither can you. That is true. Jordan, what say you? But I don't know. Do you really want to live like this? Better a life like this than no life at all. Better die human but it would hurt. What kind of life would that be? be? Yes, yes, master, you are right. Maybe this is how it should be. Maybe I was meant to die that night. Okay, I am ready. <sighs> you guys should wait above ground. I need to focus. And besides. You don't want to be here. This isn't going to be pretty. This will come back to haunt us. In one way or another. Are you sure we made the correct choice? He had suffered enough. And yet, we ask him to suffer more. Perhaps it is worth it in the end. I am often told that I lack the perspective on such things, not being entirely human myself. You want to save his life, that sounds pretty human to me. At the expense of his own humanity, I did not take that into consideration. Eli, is he... Yeah, he's gone. How bad was it? Oh, you look kind of pale, Airline. Yeah, well, I might have lost a few lunches down there. Good thing it's already a sewer. Nobody will notice. Jordan gave me the ritual knife before he... went. And? And it's a knife. I'll study it back at my lab. Hopefully find something to make this all worthwhile. Can we 
hail a cab? I don't feel quite up to the subway right now. Of course. 